Hello everyone. The building over there is an abandoned natural grocery store on Southwest Broadway Street in Beaverton, Oregon. So let's check this place out, shall we? Yeah, as you can see, something was up there. The building used to be a bed bath and beyond a long time ago. They moved out elsewhere and at the end in 2022 they closed. Anyway, talking about this grocery store, they relocated not so long ago. That's their current spot. They are in the old TJ Maxx building. The TJ Maxx moved to Cedar Seahawks Crossing, which isn't very far around 2022-ish. So many businesses moving to new locations in Beaverton. I find it pretty cool and interesting. Anyway, here's the inside. Just basically nothing in there. Yep, I was expecting the inside completely empty and I'm right. This is my very first video on an abandoned natural groceries. Been wanting to film it so bad for a while until now. You rarely see your former natural groceries. You don't see those every day. The whole surf floor is really clean and nice. For some reason, this gives me the vibe of an inside set up at the abandoned Holtz Food in Vancouver, Washington. Both natural groceries and Holtz Food interiors sort of look similar to each other. No differences, right? Ironically, I have a video of the former Holtz Food when it was empty in 2020. If you haven't seen the footage yet, please do so in the description below. It looks like there was an office room with the shade covering the window. Anyway, that former Holtz Food in Vancouver is no longer vacant. It's now an animal hospital. Aside from that, I actually came to this store before they moved to a new location. I remember this section with the orange wall being a beer and wine department. I am really lucky that I was able to document this store before it got empty. The inside was just like every other natural groceries. Not gonna lie, it feels like yesterday when I came to this store. I remember they had a lot of stuff here back then. It's just surreal seeing it empty but fascinating at the same time. The cash register should have been straight ahead near the bank counter at the left. In fact, I actually bought two sandwiches from here and I still had the receipt as a souvenir. The food was good, I guess. Employees were nice as well. I am surprised the contractors did not take the wallpaper down. Maybe it was difficult to do so. Although the wallpaper looks neat. Gonna keep walking? So the sliding doors belong to the old Bebah Himbiyan before natural groceries took over. Bebah Himbiyan would have shown images and items. It's insane that the grocery store did nothing except paint the inside wall orange. Aside from that, here's the loading dock. We're gonna check those more glasses to take a peek. Here's the result. An empty back from where the employees were. I thought there would be some machines left behind. Guess that's not the case then. I don't know how long this anchor is going to sit empty. Wonder who's the next future tenant here. Maybe a retail store could take over this spot someday. Who knows for sure. It'll be nice if that's the case though. That's the old Bay Bath and Beyond Labor Square. I am amazed they did not bother covering it. That's just plain weird. Maybe they didn't have enough money to do so. Oh well. More natural grocery signs were there. Yet another sliding door that once belonged to Bay Bath and Beyond. This is the back building. There's nothing special about it. We're gonna check the other side of the building. As usual, more natural grocery sign used to be there. Additional sliding doors belong to Bebah and Beyond. Oh, got some graffiti on one of the glasses. Not surprised about it. Hmm, they're building something right across the road. Wonder what it's gonna be. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. There, I'm just gonna wrap up for a video. Make sure you give it a like, comment, share, play the intro, and until next time, peace out.